Hello, and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. I'm Natalie. I am an empath and intuitive card reader. And this evening I'm doing a general reading for all 12 signs of the zodiac for tomorrow, which is uh, Wednesday, June 29th, 2016. So, um, just to say beforehand, thank you for all your your views and um, your likes, your comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. That's free as well. And every time I post a new video for Bay of Fundy Fortunes, you will be alerted via your email. Um, also, if you like this video and find that you'd like to personalize it and make it just for you, I do provide private readings, and you'll find everything in the description box below um, this video window. It is the uh, address for my website, Bay of Fundy Fortunes, can be found there. And there is a contact form on the site. You can contact me that way. Or you could send off an email. My email address is provided and we could set something up. And I always try to, my very best, and I'm usually successful, to finish the video and send you the link so you can have the video and view it at your own leisure for as long as you like. All right, so without further ado, let's get on with the reading. Doesn't look like a bad reading at all for tomorrow. And the first card that I drew for you um, is the Knight of Pentacles. And he's all about loyalty. Let's see if we can get that in there. There's a bit of a glare. It's hard to get around it. There he is. So the Knight of Pentacles is a slow and steady man. He plants his moves with care. He may not be charming, but he is loyal and trustworthy, and he is always taken very seriously. He often shows up in a reading that shows good business dealings, and he is associated with a good home. This is the right time for serious decisions for your future. The advice of this card, hard work may not be exciting, but brings great rewards and your keywords are order, planning, trust, working, property and progress. I think I had this card either yesterday or the day before in the reading. Uh, readings, um, you're shuffling the cards and it doesn't seem to matter if a card wants to return over and over again. There's somebody out there that's needing to hear the message more than once. That's, that's my belief and my take on that. So that was your first card. And the one that showed up in the card last night, and this is right smack dab in the middle for tomorrow's reading. And it is, as I said last night, some of the readers refer to this as the happily ever after card. And it's a wonderful card to have. And it is your 10 of cups. Completion. The advice of this card is you can feel blessed for all that is coming your way and all that you have and celebrate that. Be grateful and thankful. Love grows and bonds will deepen. All aspects of personal growth are highlighted. You have a happy home, a lot of activity in that home, and some of you are looking for your dream home so that you can settle down and have a family. The keywords are family, love, weddings, home, security, children, and again, celebration. That's a wonderful card to have. The third card that I pulled for you is the King of Wands, and he's all about practicality, as are the Wands. They're all about practical things. He's a man of action. He's engaging and inspiring, and he's a leader, and his feelings always show, and travel is important and connected to many people. This is the you card. He indicates that you should expect to find practical solutions to practical problems. The advice of this card is to explore your passion and look for unconventional people in unconventional places. The key words are energy, creativity, power, passion, wisdom, freedom, and openness. And again, I just had this card two nights ago. And no matter how you show, and as I said a minute ago, again, somebody is, is that's watching this video is not heeding the advice of the cards. 
and spirit is really 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 um pushing that so the spirit will repeat itself i hate repeating myself but the spirit says it must be so then it must be so so the significator card that i got for you was wonderful and it is the ace of swords the aces always represent new beginnings endings and beginnings all the time new doors opening where others have closed and let me get my book out for, for this one. I'll read you the literal meaning of it. And also that swords uh, also mean strength and courage, hope and peace amid strife, and a successful journey. So, and it is upright, so we don't need to read the reverse. We don't even have to go there. The Ace of Swords stands for the ability to see things from a clearer perspective. When this card rules, which it does, this, it, this is your significator card over the whole reading. We are able to remove the confusion which tends to cloud our judgment. We can see what is important and worth fighting for. It can also help us to identify the red herrings that prevent us from thinking clearly. How interesting. And plus the swords, as I said, are the ace. The ace being, being um, new beginnings, endings and new beginnings. And it tends to um, take... <clears throat> excuse me, part of um, the mind. These are things, some things that are that are playing on our minds or are deep in our minds. And sometimes they're not very bright, brilliant, happy, happy thoughts that are living there. Um, sometimes it's deep thoughts. Sometimes they can be dark. Sometimes part of us goes within and we, and we kind of go off to one side because we have some serious things on our minds. Some serious changes that we need to make in our lives. This card is a good indication these changes are going to take a place in your life. I mean, we all have these thoughts every day, things that may be hindering us, um, things that we keep to ourselves. We're not talking about them. Uh, our, our deepest thoughts, what matters to us, what is disturbing us at this time. And um, we have these things every day, but when the cards bring it forward and I mean bring it forward it rises above all the logical everyday mundane um, things that are taking place it pops into the forefront and it says pay attention to me I'm sending you a message and you need to pay attention to me so that's part of the overall feeling and energy of this reading now with the Knight of Pentacles he represents loyalty. This is somebody that you're going to be dealing with tomorrow, and they can be very charming and very, very, very bright and very trustworthy. He, um, everything he does is methodical. Everything he does is thought out, plan by plan, step by step, what move to make next. He, th he keeps his brain is very sharp. Somebody with a very clear vision, and they know. Um, what mistakes to not make and what mistakes to avoid and they will they will go forward there because this is why this person is really 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 good in business this person knows their stuff so um for some of you you will be dealing with this man tomorrow and this is a male this is definitely a male this is one of the more solid people that you know this is, he's like a breath of fresh air. Um, he's somebody you can count on to go to with any kind of, oh, let's say serious decisions that you, you might have to make. Excuse me. And um, you want to, as they say, you know, chew his ear for a bit because you respect him so highly. And he's going to tell you that what you want and what you need requires a lot of hard work and dedication. And you're going to need to dedicate yourself for anything that's going on in your life right now. For anything that's that's in the forefront. I use the word forefront at all a lot because, because these cards, if they're read literally, you can say, well, we all do that every day. That's nothing special. They're not telling me anything I don't already know. But the cards bring forth what is important and highlight. They, things of the everyday life are highlighted 
by the cards and the cards say pay attention to this particular area. This is going to be important for you, as this is for you, all 12 signs of Zodiac, for some of you for tomorrow. And the, the, the key words are order, planning, work, property, and progress. So everything is done in complete order, in baby steps, well thought out, well planned out, leave no room for error. Although with everyday things, there is some a certain amount of error is, is always possible. But this, high, that this highlights it and says, be extra careful when dealing with these projects. But this man, this man here is going to be a great influence to you. A very wise person who knows his stuff. And he's the one you want to go to. He's better than opening any book. He's better than taking any class. He's very, very good at what he does. He has an excellent reputation. Any business dealings you have, take to this man and chew them over with him. And he will give you the best advice. He's rock solid. Even his home life is very balanced and very, very normal and very tight and very together and very practical. Everything about him is practical. And the, these things that that may take place for some of you tomorrow, of course, are connected with money because he is of the pentacle suit or the coin suit, whichever you'd like to refer to it as. This is now the right time, and he's going to tell you this. This is the right time to lay firm plans for the future. Now's the time for you to do that. And then you have the happily ever after card, your Ten of Cups. And cups are like hearts. And they're all about love, home life, your loving relationships, marital relationships, your family relationships, your friendships, the heart of your home, all revolve around the cups. And the card is telling you, and it's right in the middle here, this would signify that this is going to go well for you. Whatever it is you're working on, and whatever it is you're, you're striving for is going to go well. This card confirms it. This is right in the middle of your reading. You're being blessed. Please feel some gratitude for all the good things that are coming your way, because they are coming. They are on their way now. And your heart will feel like celebrating these wonderful good things that are coming your way. It's just incredibly um, a joyous feeling. Any love in your life, you will see it grow and bloom and blossom and thrive. And it's all wonderful. All your bonds in your, in, in your heart and the love that you have for the people around you, all your bonds are going to deepen and go to another deeper level solid, without question, a lot of trust there with your heart, and um, those that, they, that, that trust you, it's at 150%. All aspects, when this card shows up, of anything to do with your personal life and your heart, now it, it, is, it is thriving and growing, as I said a moment ago, and will continue to do so. You have a very happy home life, and there's a lot of activity, and that just sounds wonderful to me. It just, you know, a lot of activity usually means a lot of family, a lot of people, a lot of friends, and it's a happy place to be. And for some of you, people love to go to your home as well. And as I said earlier, some of you, <clears throat> and this would come off the reading for, I think it was yesterday's, which would have been today, um, some of you were sitting down to plan what kind of home you want to buy. You're, you're getting married if you aren't just recently married. And you're looking at home plans and different homes in different neighborhoods and communities while well, you sit down and have this, this very um, almost tangible conversation where this isn't hypothetical second thought conversations anymore like, oh, can you imagine living there? Wouldn't I like a house like that? This is different. This goes beyond that. You're sitting down making concrete plans. Concrete. You're deciding what your needs are in the way of a new home. 
you're thinking ahead about children and how soon after you buy your home or build your home will you start to plan your family or how many years should you spend just kind of um, getting your feel for your new life with each other. So these questions will come up. The keywords again are love and weddings, and family, security, children, and celebration. Celebration has shown up twice here. So some of you will be in celebration mode. You'll be moving forward with reasons to celebrate. This is just wonderful. It, it really is. Um, I want some of that for me. I hope some of this applies to me. The third card again is the King of Wands and about practicality. Because that's what wands are all about. Anything in your life is practical. He, this man is a man of action and engaging and inspiring and he's a leader. And his feelings always show. Travel is very important and connected. And he's connected to many, many people. This is the you card. He indicates that you should expect to find practical solutions to practical problems. And your advice is to explore your passion. Look for unconventional people and unconventional places in new places you've never been before. Keywords are energy, creativity, power, passion, wisdom, freedom, and openness. And this person right here is your connection to all of this. This is the man. He's going to lead you to these unconventional people and all these new unconventional places. Things that would have never, ever, ever, ever crossed your mind. Not ever. This guy's gold for you tomorrow. Some of you already know who I'm talking about. I have no idea, but some of you know. You know what I'm talking about. And you're saying, I know who she's talking about. I know the guy. And this guy's going to help me find practical solutions to my questions and my problems. You don't have a whole lot of problems going on right now, but these are more question Based, more looking for guidance and this guy's your leader he really is and we could all use somebody like this in our lives you're being encouraged also to to explore your passions and go after because the time the time is right um, <clears throat> Spirit says, for some of you, and I'm feeling the heat here, that it's just coming, it's coming now. Um, for some of you, it's like you've been climbing a mountain your whole life, okay? You're climbing. And something else is coming up the backside. Here you are, and here's your life, right at the top, right here. This is the moment in your life. For you, for some of you, this this is it. This is the pinnacle. This is the highlight of your life. What follows after this is going to follow you through to end days. This is laying the foundation for your future. This is long term. This is big picture. This is long game, not short game. I feel to say as well, some of you that are in the in the business of buying a property, this profit property is going to remain, the spirit says, in your family for a very long time, for many years to come. The word homestead comes to mind. For future generations, this is a homestead where you will have your children and then you'll have grandchildren and the grandchildren will have children and they will just keep begetting, as they say. For a long, long time to come, this heritage home, being told heritage home, huge home. For some of you, this could be a very large scale bed and breakfast. Some of you are buying a heritage property and are going to turn it into a business such as, as such, keeping the with the integrity of the property, the original integrity that was laid down in the plans before this place was built and you're looking at going through ways for some of you that's what this is okay that's what this is you'll be going to this other person 
and this other person has many contacts with many people, and you are going to really be needing this, this is a guidance for you. So you have to clear your mind and clear your energies to let this person come in. And with an open mind, um, he's going to give you the best advice that you can get for some of you for tomorrow. For the rest of you, as I said, some of you are planning your families, you're planning your future. These are solid future and solidity. Future and solidity, it, it, solidity is what is important for tomorrow for you 12 signs of the zodiac. Yeah, some of you, yes, for most of you for tomorrow, for some reason, um, Spirit is, is nudging me to say um, important decisions for a hump day on Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Some of you have been waiting a little while for this. Some of you, um, I keep getting the, the nudge to say starting, starting solid, starting on firm ground, on level ground. And there is no, there's no breaks along the way. There's no interludes along the way. This is full steam ahead, but slow and steady wins the race. It's hard to convey the words of what I'm feeling. That's the only way that I know how to put that. So for tomorrow, I'm just going to call it up here and say good luck to you all. It's a really great reading of progress and forward movement. There we go. Long term. This is long term stuff. <clears throat> this isn't stuff that you'll get through in a couple of years or a few months. This is long term. We're talking 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the road for some of you. It's exciting, the prospects of this. And for some of you, this is all about family. And for some reason, for some of you, family is something that you've been chasing and striving for for a very, very long time. And maybe you didn't have all that growing up. Maybe you didn't come from a big family. Maybe your family wasn't close to your exterior, your, you know, your first cousin, second cousin, aunts, uncles, grandparents. Maybe you weren't close and there's something that you've always dreamed of. It's something you've always wanted. Now you're in the position to go ahead and do that. So my 12 signs for the Zodiac. This is a wonderful reading. Very concrete. Very practical. Um, no pie in the sky stuff. This is down to earth. Cement boots are on so that you can't fly off into fantasy land. Remember what I said to you last night if you, if you watched the video. Stay in the now. Stay in the now. There's nothing better you could do for yourself to bring what the universe will bring to you and all you have to do is say, bring it to me. Bring it to me. And that's the wisest thing that I can pass on to you from the cards for the Satan. This is for tomorrow, June 29th, 2016, all 12 signs of the Zodiac. I wish you a wonderful day and who knows what's ahead for what's coming up. But I'm glad you got some really good cards, and especially this one, just to throw that out there one more time. Happily ever after, it's laying right at your feet, all 12 signs of the zodiac. Good luck with that. Good night.